Hello friends, welcome to my talk titled as 10. So it's a talk on Latin squares and Greco Latin squares and talks about the discovery of orthogonal mutually of, of Greco Latin square of order 10. So it all started in 1725 when the French mathematician Jacques Ozenum arranged the 16 honors cards of a deck. Ace, King, Queen, Jack, Clubs, Diamonds, Heart, Spread, 4 into 4, 16 honors cards. They are arranged in a 4 by 4 array in such a way that in any row or in any column, there is no duplicate, neither in the suit nor in the denomination. Diamonds, Clubs, Heart, Spade, Heart, King, Jack, Queen, Ace, Queen, Jack, Ace, King, Hearts, Clubs, Diamonds, Spade. There is no duplicate either in the suit or in the denomination. Now how many solutions are there? If you count the number of possibilities, there are 16 possibilities to start with. There are 16 cards. Then the possibilities are 9, 4, 6, 3 and if you multiply them, you get the total number of uh, solutions at as 10,368. It looks quite large but if you, if, you, if you consider the total number of cases which is 16 factorial, there are 15 cards, so arranging them in an array of 4 by 4 has 16 factorial wedge, which comes out to be of the order 10 to the power 30. And so if you, if you try randomly, once or twice in 2 billion tries, you may get the correct configuration, which has no duplicate in any row or in any column. So surely it's a hard arrangement. I can try it. I, I can I can try to give a demo. So the cards are coming here. You are you are you will be picking up cards and putting in the cells. The green cells, the light green cells means this card can go in one of these green cells. So it 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 made a random start with jacks of spade in four two cell. Now let me put the other cards. So. Let me put Jack here, Ace. Let me put Ace here, another Ace. Let me put Ace here. Then there comes Queen. Let me put Queen here. Then King of Hearts, King, Queen, Queen, King, Queen, King, King, King. So King comes here. Jacks of Clubs, Jack is. H jack, H jack, jack is that comes here. This is the fourth card, which is no option. I have got single choice here. Then Queen of Diamond, King, Queen, Queen, King, Queen, King. So Queen of Diamond comes here. I have got a single choice, fourth card, single choice. That completes the 4 by 4 arrangement. This arrangement I have learned recently where you can, you can, you can consider a random order of the cards being given to you and you, and you are putting them one by one and you put, you complete the 4 by 4 arrangement in one chance. There is a game plan. It's a it's a, it's a solitaire game, but it can be converted in a couple game also, where the where your partner, where your opponent is having the red card, and you are having the king card. One who places last wins. So I am the second person. So I will try to complete. Something. Jacks of clubs. I will put it here. This, this solitaire game can be converted into a couple game.
and I lost because king of dice is placed by the opponent. I have I have no cards coming in these five cells. Anyway, so the mathematicians won't stop at order four. They will try all the orders. If you try order two, you can put only two numbers. Numbers are coming randomly here. So you put one one here, then you put two one here. And that's it. You cannot put, you cannot complete a 2 by 2 mutual orthogonal Latin square. The name is given by Leonard Euler. The suit is given, is denoted by the Greek letters and the denomination is denoted by the Latin letters. And he called them first uh, the Greco Latin square. So, Greco Latin square 2 is impossible. See, I can do in. I can do in uh, a minimum of 9 clicks, 4 I can do it with a minimum of 16 clicks which I just showed in the, in the previous slide. For the order 5, I could put the, I, I could, I could uh, fill up all the 25 cells using 25 choices only. I forgot how I did it. Okay. There is a technique I will talk, talk, talk about it later. And for order 6, I could go up to 30 or in some cases, I could go up to 34 leaving last two blank cells. And the problem came up as in late 1700, which is known as 36 officers problem, which is nothing but constructing a greco latin square of order 6. It was proved in 1901 by another French metrician Gaston Terry using a proof by exhaustions, considering all the 9000 Latin squares possible with, with 6 digits, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and he showed that none of them has an orthogonal met. So, 36 officers problem is impossible. However, Euler Euler, Euler made a conjecture that Latin squares, Greek Latin squares of all order except all order exists except when the form is of the uh, when the order is of the form 4 uh, 4k plus 2 that is 2 6 10 14 18 22 etc so euler try euler was the first ma first mathematician to put a organized effort to crack this problem and in 1782 he conjectured that Greco-Latin squares of all orders exist except when the order is the form 4k plus 2, that is 2, 6, 10, etc. For 200 years, the conjecture remained unsolved when, but late then, in 1959, Professor Rajchandra Bosch and his, Sikhande, and his student, Professor Sikhande, first constructed an order 22 Greco-Latin square, disproving Euler's conjecture. And Parker also using first uh, 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 using computer created order 10 Greco Latin squares and three together proved that Greco Latin squares exist of all orders except two and six. They, the team is known as Euler Spoiler and uh, news came up in the front page of the New York Times. So this is an example of order 10 Greco Latin squares. Now here we are talking about the digits 0 to 9, but they don't have any value attached to, attached to them. I am not using any uh, ordering sense like 1 less than 4 or 8 greater than 5, etc. They are just 10 objects and sometimes they are, uh, they are depicted by the colors. And this is a pattern in order to get a square which we had to study at Indian Statistical Institute. Okay, some studies. So, 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 0, 2, 0, 1 is a 3 by 3 Latin square because it has no duplicate in any row, in any row or in any column. Then 0, 1, 2, 1, 2, 0, 2, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 2, 2, 0, 1, 1, 2, 0. Both are Latin squares of order 3 and they are mutually orthogonal because when we superimpose one on another, we get all all the nine pairs 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0. So this is an example of mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 3. And one can go to 4. There are three 
there are three Latin squares of order 4 where any two of them are mutually orthogonal. It's a nice brain teaser to construct such sets and this is called complete sets. Now, why they are so difficult when you when you when you increase the order in in the standard format that is in the first row you have 0 1 2 3 and the first column you have 0 1 2 3 if you enumerate the latin squares in the standard format for n equal to 1 there is one latin square for n equal to 2 there is one latin square for n equal to 3 there is one latin square for n equal to 4 there are four latin squares in standard format of order 4 for n equal to 5, there are 56 Latin square and for n equal to 6, there are 9408 Latin squares which Gaston Terry enumerated individually to check whether they have orthogonal mate or not. But when you go to 7, the number goes to 16 million. Then for 8, it goes up to 535 billion and for order 10, there is this gigantic number of Latin squares of order n and it is very difficult to find a Latin squares with orthogonal mate of order 10. If we go to the Greco Latin squares, so if the if the order n of a Greco Latin square is a prime or a prime power, then we can use Galois field technique, Galois field of order n and the addition tables give you the complete set of orthogonal a mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order n, there can be at most n minus 1. The proof is easy. I could have talked it in while while I was talking about the order 4 Greco Latin square, but the proof is easy. So, so this covers the, the cases when n is prime or prime power. Otherwise, there is a chronicle product construction of mutually orthogonal Latin squares. If A1, A2 are two mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order A and B1, B2 are two mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order B, then chronicle product of A1 and B1 and chronicle product of A2 and B2 are two orthogonal Latin squares of order AB. So if you've got two pairs of Latin mutually orthogonal Latin squares, you can combine them using chronicle product. So, for a general n, one can think about its prime factorization. For prime and prime powers, you can construct the mutually orthogonal Latin squares. Then you can use Kronecker product to come up with a bigger, uh, bigger mutually orthogonal Latin square. So, the problem comes when n is of the form 2 into an odd number. 2 into an odd number. For odd number, we can have the factorization and for primes and prime powers, we can apply Galois field technique, Kronecker product technique to come up with a pair of mutually orthogonal Latin square. But we know a mutually orthogonal Latin square of order 2 does not exist. So, it is not possible to use the Kronecker product in Galois field method when the when the order is of the form 2 into 2k plus 1 or we, when, when it is of the form 4k plus 2. That is the conjecture Euler made. But using special techniques, the Euler spoiler, Bose, Secunde, and Parka showed that it exists for all orders except 2 and 6. If you consider the odd order of regular squares, there is easy construction. Uh, suppose you construct Latin square A where the ijth entry is i minus 1 plus j minus 1 mod n. And for the Latin square B, where the entries are i minus 1 minus j plus 1 mod n, and they are mutually orthogonal. I mean, when we were playing with Latin squares with colored papers with pen sister in 1995, we developed this method, but this is a well known, well known result for all order Latin squares. Now, I, I talked a bit about the diagonals. So for all order Latin squares, you can interchange the rows and columns to make the diagonals and the broken diagonals free of any duplicate in the first digit or in the second digit. For even order, our method fills up 50 percent of the cells, but there is a sequential method which fills up which works fine for odd order Latin square. And for even order Latin square, it fills up all the cells except last n cells. I think I will, I will demo this technique. So, 
this is Latin squares have uh, applications of computer aided proofs when E.T. Parker built his order 10 Euclidean square using Univec computer. It has been proved by exhaustive search that a complete set or set of 9 mutually orthogonal Latin squares of 10 does not exist. So we know the mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 10 exist, but they don't have a complete set. It is proved by computer search. So these are the early early examples of computer aided proofs later four color theorem has a massive application of computer in its in its proof now the complex set of order 10 doesn't exist what about the triplet could we find three mutually three latin squares of order 10 where any two are mutually orthogonal the closest we could go is this example where first and where all three are lattice squares of order 10, first and second are mutually orthogonal, first and third are mutually orthogonal, but second and third fail to be mutually orthogonal because there are some duplicates. You have 6, 1 here, again 6, 1 here, so there are 9 pairs which are duplicate. This is the furthest we could go. So now, this is an open problem in lattice square area. But it's a very difficult problem. People believe that a triplet does not exist. I, I, I made my trials to construct a triplet, but surely failed. Now I think of the, uh, uh, the triplet sisters from UK working as doctors with their mom. <laughs> this could be an inspiration to some researchers. Now some applications. So, in agriculture, you have, suppose you have three types of paddy, three types of soils and three, three types of fertilizers. So, it needs 27 plots to, to have all the combinations and then you grow, grow seeds, go grow paddy in the plots and compare the yields and compare the effect of fertilizer soil and the, and the, and the paddy seeds. But using Latin square design, you can do it in a in a three by three array. Suppose the rows have the same soils, the columns have the same fertilizers, and P1, P2, and P1, P1, P1 are having are completing all the combinations of fertilizers and soils and the paddy seeds. So using using nine cells, you can design an experiment to compare the 27 cases. In scheduling problems, suppose there are two four member teams A, B, C, D and 1, 2, 3, 4 playing a ping pong match with one another. Each player has to play each of the players in his opponent team. One, play, one player should not play twice a day, one player should not play twice in the same time slot. There are four days, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are four time slots, 10 a.m., 2 a.m., 4 a.m., 8 a.m., and you need regularity, and you you need a regularity square of order four to schedule such tournaments. So these are some some examples, some examples of applications. Now in 2020 January first, I was toying with the with the idea of group Latin square, which which was the time of the pandemic. So each row of the of a of a Latin square could be seen as a permutation of the digits zero to n, zero to n minus one. And if you if you consider a cyclic permutation a of the digit zero to one, then then if you if you if you consider the powers one a a square up to n minus one, then all the all the permutations forms permutations form the rows of a, of a Latin squares and they form a, form, a, form a subgroup of the permutation group. I mean the operation under his, you, you, you can combine two permutations and you can see the rows of a Latin square as a subgroup of the permutation group and if you start with an acyclic permutation and consider its powers that will give you a Latin square. When the when the order is of the form when the order is composite, 
R into S. You can start with R. R cycles of length S or S cycles of length R and can and can and can complete the subgroup of the rows of the lattice squares. So this is the idea of the group lattice square, and I was thinking whether it would help me in getting a uh, a lattice square of order 10, you need the concept of transversal. A transversal of a lattice square is a set of entries which is which, which includes exactly one entry from each row, column and each symbol. I'll, I'll, I'll try to demo it. And there is a theorem that an orthogonal met exists if and only if the lattice square has n distinct transversals. And probably this is true that when n is odd, the size is odd and you consider a group lattice squares square of order n using an acyclic computation then the orthogonal met then the tra then a transversal exists and when it is of the form n equal to 4k and you and the order is composite and you consider r cycles of length s where r into s equal to n then it depends whether the transversal will exist or not but when the n is of the form 4k plus 2 and the transverse a transversal does not exist so this group group latin square method won't help me in getting a order 10 pure latin square here is a demo so let me go to order 7 and choose a, a random acyclic permutation then the powers of it form the rows of a of, of a latin square and if and you can you can try to find the transversal You have to do some trial and error. I don't know whether. Hmm. That that completes the Greco Latin square of order ten. This is based on the group Latin square of order order seven. Now in two thousand twenty two. I was thinking of Greco Latin cubes. We have talked about Greco Latin squares. Now, Greco Latin cubes are also possible and also hypercube of hyper dimension. So, here is an example of order 5 Greco Latin cubes. So, there are 5 partition front, then next one, then next one, then next one, then the last partition. There are 5 partition. Then, I have, I have got a method that gives me a Greco Latin cube of order 5. It looks random, but it's not random really, it has got a certain algorithm in it and that completes a Gricolatin cube of order 5. It is taking time. So there are each entry is a triplet of digits from 0 to 4, x axis, y axis, z axis, there are 3 entries and there should not be any duplicate in first digit or second digit or third digit in any row or in any column or in any z axis line. That completes the order 5 duplicate cube. And a possible extension of Euler's Euler's theorem would be all the Greco Latin squares exist. Greco Latin square, Greco Latin cube, and Greco Latin hypercube exist except when the order is 2 or 6. That's the probable extension that I, that I talked in 10th September that I found, but probably this could be a paper. Some critical sets from Professor Rita Shaharai of Indian Statistical Institute. She gave me two papers. And the question is, what is the minimum number of entries you need to fix a Latin square or a Greco Latin square? So this is the list so far. For order one, I need one entry for Latin square, one entry for Greco Latin square. Rather, this, this should be zero because the Latin square and Greco Latin squares are fixed. Say for five 
I need eight entries to fix a Latin square of order order eight. I mean, given these eight entries, one can deduce the rest of the twin, rest of the entries from from these six from these eight entries. And for regular Latin square of order five, the number is six. So these are not proven. I am I am trying to improve the bounds and probably. There could be a paper about the lower bound of the size of the critical sets of Latin squares and regular squares. So these are some examples which support my analysis here. I am trying to improve them. Last I worked on them is April 2024. So I just clicked on it. Again. So these are some examples of critical sets of Gregorian squares and here I generated the game. So I could find two two critical sets for the Gregorian square of order five with colors and six order six Latin squares where the size of the critical set is eight the uh, sorry twelve. So given these uh, entries, one can one can one can derive one can deduce the rest of the blank entries uniquely. Some hands-on activities. So this I studied in Indian Statistical Institute when I was a student in the third year. In our design of experiment class, we were taught about Latin square and Latin square for order four. You can just go on clicking the cells with the first choice, and you will get the Latin squares and the mutual and its orthogonal mate. This is just an observation. Whenever I am clicking, I am getting the first choice, and if there is no such entry, the cell remains blank. So that is a great Latin square of order four. That's a Gregor Latin square of order four. Here is the superimposition of the Latin square. For order five, you need a little, you need to be a little more careful. This is the mechanism which me and my sister Manjima developed in 1995, 96. So this is one Latin square for its orthogonal mate. You need to you need to use the backslashes or slashes or backslashes. For order ten, I can I have an algorithm for I, I have a con I have a Computer search method which yields me Gregor Latin square of order 10, but that takes time and I will not go through it. So, this is the order 5 Gregor Latin square. Here the, here the lines are slashes and here the lines are backslashes, and that's, that gives me a Gregor Latin square of order 5. Uh, here you can choose between Latin squares and Greco Latin squares. For Latin squares, for order 8, one can start with random entries. There are 11 blank cells which I can try to fill up manually. This I call cobweb method which works for order 10. So I need to have one here. So I put one here. I need to have five here, five and six. Six, 
here, so we put six here. I did five here, so we put five here. I need two here, so I put two here. I need three here, so I put two here. I need zero here, so I put zero here. I need seven here, but seven is on top. Two is missing. Three is missing, so I put three here. Six is missing. So I put six here. I put one here. I put six here. I am missing six, which goes there. I have five cells remaining, four cells remaining blank. I need seven here. Six here. I need seven here. Then the rest is solved. So this is solved with the sixty-four cells are covered, and I needed fifty-seven clicks. I am trying to improve the bounds. Same as Gregorian square. <coughs> This is sequential method which I thought of telling you. So let me go to order seven. So it, it the number is coming here. So any green cells can be given this number. So I put zero zero here. I will go sequentially zero 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 one zero two. This this method works fine for any odd order Euclidean square. For, for even orders, it fills up all the cells except the last n ones. Forty one, forty two, then the last one sixty, sixty one, sixty two, sixty three, sixty four, sixty five. For any odd order, for for any odd order, this method works fine. It completes the Euclidean square. For even order, so let me go to four. So if I if I if I use the same method, now there remains four cells, which is empty which are empty that is the drawback of the sequential method but one can use to find how much one can go say in a say for any even order Euclidean square this is the games of the order two to five I have talked about these games and this is the game where I am using different methods, a sliding method. So this this box is empty and it has to be three. So let me try to put them.
So, all right. Oh, that completes the 4 by 4 lattice square using sliding method. There are different methods. This is the first choice method. The first choice comes to the comes to the cell. And one can play in both Latin square and Gregorian square mode. And there is one called swapping. So you swap the numbers to complete the Latin square. That completes the Latin square of order. Or <coughs> this is the method of swapping. Some of my achievements which I consider as my achievement. This is the first 10 by 10 Greco Latin square which I created using computer SARC in March 2023, 5 pm. Then I got a pair of Greco Latin square of order 10 where the first three rows and first three columns are same. So I got two solutions in my computer search in July 2023. Then here are three Greco Latin squares of order order 10 where the first three rows and first three columns are same and I got three solutions. This is again uh, 3 Gregorian square of order 9. The same method could be applied for both 10 and 9 and the first 3 rows and first 3 columns are same. And the, these I consider as one of my achievements. This is the order 6 Gregorian square and I could put 34 entries leaving the last two blank because we know Gregorian square of order 6 doesn't exist, but this is the closest we can, we, we, we could go. We, we certainly can't have single blank cell because it is mathematically impossible. So this is the farthest we could go towards the Gregorian square of order 6. Now here are some references. Of these, I have three books, one by Evans, one by Kidwell and a group of competition groups by Dixon. Then there are several articles, and this is the Bose, Sikande, and Parker paper. Further results on the construction of mutually orthogonal squares and falsity of Euler's conjecture by Bose, Sikande, and Parker. This is deep mathematics. I couldn't go through it. I'm just playing with it. And here is a game of Latin squares available in Play Store. One can play with it. And here is the RNN table, which I am not going to talk about. So, thank you.